Hey guys, Toolman Tim back here. Welcome back to the workshop where we build business, create community, find freedom, and share success. It is Wednesday, which means it is time for another Tool Time Gear review. And I have got a good one for you this week. Something that maybe not everybody thinks they need, but after you use it, it's a lot like an oscillating tool or a few other of those things. You just start finding more and more and more uses than you ever thought you would. So hang in there, I'll be right back. Alright guys, real quick, anything that I feature in these review videos, there'll be an Amazon affiliate link if it's available in the description below. So if you're looking at picking one of these up, feel free to hit that uh, button there and I'll get a small commission, which I really appreciate. And if you want to know more about me, Go to toolmantim.co, that's toolmantim.co, and you can find all my social media links there. You can follow me on Float, on MeWe, and follow my business, my handyman business page over on Facebook and Instagram. And, you know, just interact. I'd absolutely love to answer any questions you have. And if you have any video suggestions, use the contact form and send them there or put them in the description below. All right, so like I said, it is Wednesday, which means it is absolutely time for another Tool Time review. And this week I have the mini circular saw by DeWalt. Something that a lot of people think, that seems like a bit of a novelty. And honestly, I did until I went out to a customer's house one day and they're like, could you come out and help me move a wood stove? I need it moved so that I can finish up the flooring. And we get out there and they weren't even close to being ready for us to move the stove. They had a quarter of the floor done. And I'm like, you know what? I can stand here and watch you. Not that I would ever do that, but why don't I help you with the laminate floor? Anyway, they had one of these. And from that moment on, I said, I've got to get one. And the missus and I were walking through Home Depot one night and they had the bear tool on for, I can't remember, it was a reasonably good price, maybe $139 Canadian or something, which is about 12 bucks American. And she said, grab it, hun. You know, you, you're always looking for something new to play with and use in your business. So she said to go ahead. And I grabbed it. It's $129 US on Amazon, just the bear tool, just the tool. And it has, this size here. I will tell you in just a second, a four and a half inch blade that it comes with. They're a little bit harder to find, but I'll get into that a little bit as we go on. If you want to pick this up as a kit as well, there is a kit for around 250 bucks. Comes with a saw, a carry bag, and my all, I wouldn't say my all time favorite, but my, my Favorite battery for size compared to capacity, the two amp hour comes with it as well. So for 250 American, you can get the whole kit, which is great. You can get it on Home Depot as well, but I, I checked Lowe's and I couldn't find the kit. Although, <laughs> to be absolutely honest, I don't love their website. I find it a little bit hard to navigate, a little bit hard to find some of the tools you're looking for. So as far as the reviews, it has a full five-star review uh, rating on Amazon out of 2,100 reviews. And absolutely, I can see why. I told you I got to use this for laying laminate floor. It's well-balanced. I wouldn't call it lightweight, but it's not heavy. And it's really, really, really nice when you're holding it and you want to cut a long straight line in a piece of plywood. Now, for me, the main reason that I absolutely like this is that it makes cutting out little on and off cuts of laminate floor super easy. So like I said, I picked this guy up two, three months ago at Home Depot and it sat in the box for quite a while. And because I had a lot of different tools to play with, I didn't have the job I wanted to use it for, but I knew I would have a, an opportunity. And we had this whole house laminate floor job that I just did. And this was the time for this guy to shine. Like I said, first thing I love, it was really good for ripping long pieces of laminate floor. Much easier, much straighter, you can get down on top of it and go along with it, which I really liked. It's nice for making small cuts, like the little cutouts that you need to do to get around pipes and things like that. And what I would do is I would cut in three quarters of the square and then I would finish it with my oscillating tool. So to me, this the oscillating tool is slow, but it does really good. This is quick, but you can't quite get into those tight spots. So you do three quarters to you know 90% of it with this saw and then finish it off with the oscillating tool and it does a as a professional job as I can do with laminate floor. Something else I really like about this, of course it has the adjustable 
uh, plate on it, but it's really good for making tighter plunge cuts than you can with a, a circular saw, with the full size or the six and a half inch circular saw that I have. So what I like to do is get it up and then pull the guard back carefully, keep your fingers off it, and then slowly drop it down. So you can actually cut most of a square inside of a full piece of flooring or plywood for cutting out um, uh, knockouts for electrical plugs, that sort of thing. So it's really nice that way. Really good control. It has an adjustable fence up here, which you'll see. So it can go onto a 45, which I had no use for. I never used it. But I like this as well. Although with the, the really thin, the small blade, I like to cut just a little thicker than what my material is, so you can easily adjust that as well, which I like. The locking button right there, the onboard Allen key, which I know is super simple, but it is worth its weight in gold when you're wearing it out, the blade that is. And as far as what do you normally use a circular saw for, <laughs> you know, plywood, one inch boards, laminate flooring, and two inch boards. And this bugger here made it through a two by four with with no space to spare so if you're looking for a nice compact I, I could honestly see some people just getting this instead of a full-size circular saw circular saw has a lot more power which i like um, you know this is quite noisy in an enclosed area but so is a circular saw but yeah i mean if you're looking for a compromise between size and power and versatility this guy could be the saw you're looking for so like I said, all these tools, when they make them smaller, they compromise certain things. Now, to be absolutely honest, the, the biggest, I was going to say hugest, <laughs> the largest concern that I have with this is this four and a half inch blade. Now, Home Depot does stock them. Amazon does normally stock them. They are available. They're usually around, I can get two Diablo seven and a quarter blades for the same price that I can get one of these four and a half inch blades. Now that's not the end of the world because you're not going to use this for absolutely everything. But the biggest problem is just finding the damn things. Home Depot was out the other day. My local home hardware didn't have any. Amazon was all sold out. And there's way less versatility in the type of blade you can buy as well. You pretty much have one or two options. At least Diablo does make one. So that's what I'm going to pick up because I, I haven't done a review on the Diablo blades yet. But that is my go-to circular saw blade. I try to use it in anything that I can when it's on sale. But that is the biggest drawback to this, is that the blades are more expensive for a smaller blade, and they're harder to come by. The factory blade that came with it, cutting laminate floor, did dull up fairly quick by the time I was done that one job, which was a whole house of laminate flooring. It, it's pretty much toast now, which, you know what, I normally throw away my blades, uh, my chop saw, I went through a couple of them while I was cutting. And the other downside, I would say, is, and it's going to be hard for you to see, but that little little tiny notch where you follow the blade is really, really hard to see when you're cutting. Uh, uh, number one, a light on it would be super nice, but there isn't one, so we'll get over it. But I would love a much bigger notch there to follow along. It gets clogged up with sawdust, and maybe I'm, I'm just trying to let you know how I feel about this thing. But yes, it really could use a bigger notch there and a little easier to follow along because it's so nice for ripping plywood. But I found myself looking off to the side and wanting to check out the uh, blade to make sure I was going straight. And then you get down and get sawdust blown up in your face and, you know. One other thing, and it may have just been the blade that came with it, but I found, and of course this is the way it is with circular saws in general, but make sure you get it spinning up to full RPM before you engage the material. I found this one, and maybe it's because it has just a little less power than a full-size circular saw, but I get a little lazy sometimes, and I pull the trigger and I go, and so it hasn't quite spun up yet. And with a circular saw, like a, a full-size guy, or my six and a half, it seems to cut in no problem. But with this, if it's not spinning full tilt, and the blade isn't super, super sharp, I had it catch the material a couple of times. And when you're doing fine cuts with small pieces of laminate, it can be a recipe for disaster. So, you know, throw it up at your face or more than that, break or chip or, or tear apart the wood, the, the material. And that's what happens. So just make sure when you're using it that you spin it up full, just pull in the trigger and then go. It takes an extra eighth of a second, but it could <laughs> save you some cussing and swearing and that sort of thing. With any of my circular saws, I like to use the five amp hour batteries. Uh, with my six and a half, sometimes I'll throw the Flexvolt six amp hour battery on there. But it is honestly, at, 
at least as heavy, maybe even heavier. I got to throw them on the scale to check, but it is a solid heavy saw, which means it's rugged, means I can drop it. It probably needs to be considering how long it is, but it is a little heavier than I was hoping. But again, I guess you, it's a trade-off. It's heavy, but it's rugged. So who needs this thing? <laughs> of course, anybody who loves DeWalt like me, but Honestly, it, it, if you already have a good circular saw, you may or may not need it, but I will say that this really did change my laminate floor game. I, I wasn't very good at laminate floor when I first started it. Every job I do, I've gotten a little bit better, a little bit better, and this really made a huge difference in making those nice cuts around uh, the boiler heaters on the wall where you need to get it in underneath copper pipe and then put the trim back on. This just it really allows you to make those nice fine cuts and then finish it off with the oscillating tool. So to me, any handyman like me who has a DeWalt addiction, this could absolutely be worth your time. It's not super expensive. It's the Atomic Brushless. I've had pretty good luck with them. They, they seem like they shouldn't have the power they do because the, the motor is a little bit quieter, but it, it absolutely does what it says and what you want it to do. Uh, I'd be, if, if you're looking for just one circular saw, this may be the option. I'm not sure. That's totally up to you. Uh, if you're looking to get a gift for somebody and they don't have a circular saw yet, this may also be. Because one thing that I found, especially if you only have the 2 amp hour batteries, a 2 amp hour battery is not enough to really push that 6.5 inch circular saw that I have. But a 2 amp hour battery, I think, would work pretty decent on one of these. So if you're not looking to invest in a lot of the 5 amp hour batteries yet, this may be something you can get for the handyman or the budding carpenter in your life. So, is it a perfect tool? Absolutely not. Do I love it? Absolutely. Am I going to take it on every job that I work that involves cutting wood at this point? Again, absolutely. A couple of improvements, like I said, an LED light would be awesome and a bigger groove right there. As soon as I find a decent deal on Diablo blades, I'm going to buy a bunch of them and have them on hand because there's nothing worse than working, having a doll blade, and not being able to pick one up on a Sunday morning. So, it definitely has the Toolman Tim seal of approval. I'd probably give it four out of five because I'm a sucker for DeWalt tools, but honestly, it's way more versatile than I thought. Like, it set in a box for three months, and now I'm using it. So that's it for me, guys. Like I said, you can go to toolmantim.shop and do your Amazon shopping from there or click the affiliate link below if you're looking to pick one of these up. And if you want to know more about me, go to toolmantim.co. And as always, guys, stay happy, stay healthy, and have a great week.